What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now over the past few days, we've seen a few bits and bobs in regards to the Rise of Iron DLC and what it could indeed be. So what were these bits and bobs I'm talking about? First off, it came to light that Rise of Iron has been trademarked by Bungie. Nothing out of the ordinary here, it was bound to happen. What is interesting though is the Rise of Iron description reads that it's an interactive game software. What's weird is that previous DLC expansions The Taken King Dark Below and The House of Wolves were all labelled as downloadable video games. So what does this mean? Well let's take a look at other trademark things which fall under the category of interactive game software. Well the main one I could find was the Eververse Trading Co which you can see on screen now. So how could these things be alike? Eververse is a place where you use silver to purchase shit for that real life money. So I have no idea. One thing I have noticed though is that Crimson Doubles, Sparrow Racing League, these free live events are not trademarked or as I could find anyway. Only what we pay for is trademarked, pushing me to the conclusion that this Rise of Iron is a paid for DLC. I could be wrong but that's just what I think. The next bit of news we got, well it's not really news as such, but it's an interesting point which I'm going to cover. Fellow Destiny player, YouTuber and streamer Gefalion posted this image on Twitter and it shows a paid ad for the Rise of Iron owned by Bungie. What's really interesting here is what it states. Destiny, Rise of Iron, new story, raid, gear and weapons. Discover the fate of the Iron Lords. Now there is no factual evidence that this image is legit and it seems as though the ad has been removed. Well I couldn't find the fucker anyway. But if it is legit that's fucking epic. New raid, gear, weapons and even more epic. New story. Discover the fate of the Iron Lords. Now I said this in a video a few weeks back when we got that first image of the Rise of Iron. It was speculated at the time that we would witness the Battle of the Twilight Gap and I absolutely loved the idea. But at the time I couldn't really see Bungie taking that route. But if this is legit then it seems to be the case which is absolutely amazing. Now moving on, now this image being official and it was tweeted out by Bungie and it's to basically furthermore publicise their upcoming stream on June 9th this Thursday where we get to witness our next Destiny adventure which should be great. The image clearly shows the logo separated by snow and soil. This more so ties into what we saw with the first Rise of Iron poster where we saw snow and wolves. But other than that it don't really offer much more but it's really going to be quite epic to find out what they have in store for us via the stream this Thursday. So make sure you tune in. If any new info drops before the stream this Thursday you'll be sure to find it here on my channel. So subscribe if you're new. But guys if you have any theories on the info I covered in the video please share it down below in that comments section. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like or do appreciate the support and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.